recognize at this time we have the minister, the federal minister of labor here, Lisa Ray. City employees and a lot of Hamiltonians here to celebrate what we are about to announce uh, in, a, in a moment. It now gives me a great pleasure to introduce to you the Federal <coughs> Minister of Transport, Infrastructure and Communities, the Honorable John Baird. Thank you very much, Mr. Minister. I'm uh, thrilled to be here. In Hamilton, thrilled to be joined by uh, two of my uh, great colleagues, uh, David Sweet, who's uh, uh, sort of uh, our man, uh, Hamilton's man in Ottawa for uh, our government. Thanks uh, for your leadership, David. And I'm pleased to see uh, my uh, cabinet colleague Lisa Raitt. Uh, we work hard on a lot of committees together, and uh, are getting things done uh, for Ontario in a big way. Uh, I'm very pleased to be here as well with the mayor. Uh, we, you've been uh, great to work with. As well, some of uh, my provincial colleagues, and Brad, Sophia, and Ted, um, we've really had uh, an unprecedented amount of cooperation uh, uh, and partnership with the government of Ontario and the government of Canada. And in an economically troubling time, the public doesn't just expect that, they demand it. And we've been working very closely and getting a lot of stuff done for Ontario. Uh, with respect to infrastructure, one of the things that excites me the most is for years there was always a reason or an excuse for Ontario not to get its fair share of infrastructure. And we have 38% of uh, the nation's population, uh, and at least that in terms of the size of the economy, and now we're getting 38% of the infrastructure funds. And uh, that, uh, that's the result of that uh, great partnership uh, between Prime Minister Stephen Harper and uh, Premier Dalton McGuinty. Uh, so we see four infrastructure projects uh, around uh, the country, around the province of Ontario in particular. You'll know the fourth one wouldn't have happened if there wasn't uh, a fair deal uh, for Ontario. And we can all be tremendously uh, proud of that. And the people of Ontario have been uh, tremendously uh, well, uh, well served. I'm very pleased to be part of another important announcement that will help return Hamilton Harbour to its former glory. Uh, this is uh, a real passion. Clean water is a real passion uh, for our government. Uh, David and I have been working on a number of projects in this area or in recent years, and uh, we're making some great progress. Uh, the announcement that we make today will result in a cleaner, greener environment that will help create jobs for workers in a town and a part of the province that really needs it. Last year, when Prime Minister Stephen Harper and Jim Flaherty, our finance minister, announced Canada's economic action plan, we announced a five-year program called the Green Infrastructure Fund. This program, this program is a $1 billion fund for major projects right across Canada to contribute to a cleaner environment and, just as importantly in the short term, to create jobs for Canadians. The projects focus on green priorities, such as green energy generation and upgrading sewer and wastewater treatment systems. In the past year, the government has partnered with the province of Ontario to announce seven major projects under the Green Infrastructure Fund. These projects will help to improve wastewater systems and contribute to better water quality in the Great Lakes. Uh, right here in Hamilton and the surrounding area, the city, MPs, members of the provincial parliament, and many others have worked very diligently on a plan to help clean up this important part of Lake Ontario. A major focus in this plan is to upgrade the city's wastewater treatment centre. And today's announcement will be great news for the region. I'm very pleased to announce that the Government of Canada will set aside $100 million to improve Hamilton's wastewater services. <laughs> this will be the biggest grant in the Green Infrastructure Program right here in Ontario and right here in Hamilton. to the Woodward Wastewater Treatment Plant that will ultimately improve the water quality in Hamilton Harbour and in Lake Ontario. By partnering with the province of Ontario and the city of Hamilton, we're hoping to restore Hamilton Harbour area to its original state, one of natural and pristine beauty. And we're working together to create jobs and to boost the local economy. This is another example of our governments working together to achieve more. Since launching our economic action plan, the partnerships between our governments have resulted in an unprecedented number of infrastructure projects across Ontario. Here in Hamilton, we've invested in projects to improve roads, highways, recreation centers, post-secondary buildings, and new parks. Uh, particular, and uh, one particular important project is uh, uh, what I call the David Sweet Project, uh, the uh, expansion to the ice pads uh, at the Fireside, uh, Morgan, Firestone, uh, Morgan Firestone Arena, uh, which was a very important project. 